Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to compare multiple measure values over a period of time. In one of my previous tutorials, we learned about dual axis chart and combined axis chart, and this tutorial is an extension of it. Today, I'm going to show you how to show two measure in side by side chart and compare it with the third measure, which is on another axis displayed as a line chart or area chart. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back. This is Kirpreet from Dataviz Canvas. And in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to compare multiple measures over a period of time. As you can see in this dashboard, I'm trying to show how to create a side-by-side -side stack bar chart for multiple regions and then compare the sales of those different regions with the profit ratio on the side which I have shown in a line chart. So there are four different line chart lines for each of the different regions and also I'm showing the sales in the form of stack bar chart where we have split it into two side-by-side -side charts. So let's see how we can create this. So first of all, I will go to the sheet and in the sheet, let's let's try to just bring order date into column shelf and I want to see it by month year. Um, and also I want to bring the sales and let's let's do it in the form of a stack bar chart. And I want to bring the region in the color marks. Um, and also I would like to bring the order date which it disappeared from there into column shell and you can see it here for month for each of these months we have a stack bar chart by different color for each region but i want to split it first of all i want to split these four stack bars into two side by side stack bars so for that what i will be doing i will be creating two new calculations. So in this case, I have already created those calculation. One is the space calculation, which is nothing but a simply a decimal number. So I will show you what it means basically. And the second calculation is the x-axis calculation. So I have created this particular calculation, but before I jump into that, let me quickly show you why we need that. So as you can see here, for a particular month dimension, which we have used here, we are displaying all the sales for different region. That's why it's stacked on top of each other. And we want to bring, let's say center region and east region just on the side of it. But because this axis is based on the month value, which we have selected here, it's not gonna split it into two different values. So that's why we need to create a calculated field where all the X axis you can say in this case, where we are currently showing month value, we need to split it into two values. So how we can do that? In this calculation, what we have done, we have created a case statement where we have said, if the region value is central, then index value is basically a function which is just giving us the row value for each of the rows in the data for central region. We are simply saying wherever there is a central region, then give us the index value of that particular row and then subtract the space value. In this case, it's just a decimal number. So let's say if it is one, um, one is the index value for a central region row, then it will be simply one minus 0.1. And the same way we have done for the east, index value minus space. So there will be a different index value for all of these location of the region. So based on that, we are subtracting the space and adding the space. So what it will do, once I bring the x-axis to the column shelf, you will see it here and I will remove the month value. You will see there are these two values here, which are at 0.9 and 1.1 value. But ideally, we want to show these x-axis value based on the month year selection. So I will bring the order date into detailed shelf and change it into months. And then going back into x-axis, I will change the um, table calculation by compute using order date. Once I do that, you will see all the 12 months are splitted like this. So for the first month, the east 
and the central value is in one stack bar and the other one is in the other stack bar. So let's let's change the view to entire view and you will see two stacks bar are created with these values. So I will simply go and format this axis and in the axis I will change the number to custom number and remove the decimal places so you can actually see these 12 months here straight away. Now once we have the sum of sales value in here I want to bring profit ratio. So I will bring the profit ratio into Rochelle and you will see another chart is created but in this case profit ratio chart I will select this pill and change it into a line chart and you will see four light different line charts are created and then I will simply create a dual axis chart from here by clicking on that and you will see dots are created so lines disappeared this is because of the detail level of the month selection so once I remove that, let, let's go back into that. And so it's it's because of the measure name, sorry. So once I remove the measure name from, um, from our mark shell, you will see all of them appear nicely. And then we can do a bit of formatting. We can go to the formatting for the profit ratio. And I want to show the percentage, which zero decimal places. And you can see it here. All the four different regions are shown into different line charts, and we have the bar chart, stack bar chart for the sales value. And you can do a bit more formatting and go into the tooltips. And I don't want to show the x-axis value, remove that. And same for sum of sales. I don't want to see the x-axis value here. So once you hover over to these regions, you can see for West region the sales is 44 grand. And you can then compare the West region with the profit ratio of 15%. So that way you can play around with this chart where you can split the values in one particular dimension into two stack bar charts. So this was the case where we simply used region as a dimension and split the sales value with the region instead of stack bar with four different region. We split it into two. So the now moving on to the second part where actually we can split sales and profit into two separate bars it's simply an extension of that so let's simply delete this first and let's remove all the sheets let's create a new sheet in this case and what we need to do so i will remove everything first the blank sheet let's go to the data source so in this case we will simply select sales and profit in this case and we will select this and change it into pivot once we do that you will see here pivot field values are created pivot field names and pivot field values so we will use these values for our calculation purposes and you will see the quantity here so quantity is duplicated so while doing the quantity calculation we will simply divide it by two because once we pivot it two rows are created for these two values. So now let's go back to the sheet and we see how it will work. So that's fine. You will see some of the calculations which we did earlier. That's why it's giving us some error. So we don't need those ones. So just ignore those errors. So in this case, we will simply go to order date and we will select again month year in this case, let's say month here. And in this case, I want the new pivot field names, right? And we will bring the pivot field values here. And you will see here, all the two pivot field values are there. And I will bring the pivot field name into color shelf. And you will see two line charts are created. And instead of that, I want side-by-side -side chart, right? And you will see here, because of the pivot field, so I will just do it like this. And you can see for each month, there are two side-by-side -side bar charts. Right. So, but in this case, again, because it's a dimension and we want to do it on a X axis. So I will simply change the calculations here in the X axis. I will say the selection, which we did pivot field values, pivot field names. And I will say, if it is sales, then index minus space. And if it is profit, then index 
plus space and I will change it to attribute as well and once I do that you will see there is a cal valid calculation so I will click OK I will bring X axis on the top and I will remove month order date and I will move it to details and in this one I will change it to compute using order data as well once we do that we will simply bring pivot field names into the color shelf and you will see two bars are created and once we change the view to entire view you will see both the bars for sales and profit are side by side now once we have created these values I want to simply bring the quantity onto the row shelf. Once I bring the quantity here, you will see that another chart is created. So in this case, quantity, I will change it to a line chart and you will see the quantity for these two values. But as you know, the quantity is duplicated because when we pivoted the uh, table, the two measure values, so quantity is duplicated. So what we will know, we will simply go and edit in the shell and we will say divided by two. Once we do that, we will get the right value. So once we do that, we will simply create a dual axis and we will remove the pivot field names from, uh, actually the measure names from here and you will see the lines are created for both of these so you can see here for the month of February we have sale uh, the quantity is 534 for profit so whatever profit we made it's on 534 uh, um, 534 sales subject right and the same way on the sales subject so you can see both of them are actually same based on the selection so really if we don't need multiple values we can remove one of them but their values in the line chart is exactly same and we can again go into the table calculation for this one and format it and i would like to see the numbers without any decimal places so once i do that you can see here there are two particular bar charts side by side bar chart for sales and profit and also we have a line chart where we are showing the quantity so you can use different measures in this chart by using these calculations i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions please feel free to drop me a message below thank you